Nancy Trekker here, back for another adventure. I'm going to be going into the Bob Marshall Wilderness for two weeks, starting this week. And I'm going to show you what I'm packing for the two-week trek. So let's go. Start with my pack. So it's a Z-Pack. Oh, I have my list over here. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, when it's resting, I have these arches at the back at rest and then when I put it on me you pull on the thing <laughs> I don't even know if I can do it because my pack is so full right now but it's supposed to arch the pack away from your back so it takes that moisture of the sweat off your back what's in it so let's start with the outside I've got my sip pad which is just an old uh, windshield reflector and it can double as my entrance to my tent. I usually spread it out in front of my tent so anything I track in stays on this instead of getting into my tent. Uh, it also doubles as a sit pad. It um, can be a rain deflector if I'm you know in an area that's pouring rain uh, and it can also be a shield for my fuel. Uh, when I'm cooking, if there's heavy winds to contend with. My water bottles are on the outside of my pack. Of course, they're empty right now, but they will be full. Two of them. And my trekking pole, and I stress there's only one pole. And that's because my Z-Pack's uh, tent needs one pole to set up. And I'm not really a fan of hiking with a pole, so I've got one. I was able to... Uh, reduce my core which is the sleep system my pack and my shelter by five pounds by going with the ultralight gear such as Z packs enlightened equipment uh, Durston's another brand um, what else have I got oh Nemo Nemo tensor um, and so I'm happy about that those five pounds are going to come in and oh, one more thing in my <laughs> in my uh, fanny pouches. This one's empty, but this one has my snacks for the first day, so I don't need to stop and undo all my food before I even get anywhere on the first day. I always put my snacks for the day. Um, my lunch is my snacks, uh, and uh, I always put them in my front so it's in my pack. First thing I'm going to pull out is my tent because that's the first thing I'm going to need when I get to camp. So this has got the footprint right there. My, you saw my pole over here. I've got that. Yeah. Then it's kind of a schmoz because my sleeping bag and my sleeping pad are down here. But I'm going to pull out my food and let you know. This is my cook system. Uh, including, so I've got two pots in here. I could do with just one. Um, I've got one eight ounce fuel canister and I will pack, note to self, I will pack an extra four ounce, my lighter and my actual stove <laughs> and my spork that I found. Tidy it up later. For you. I've got my Kia bag and this will be my food hang at night. I'll just put all my food in here and hang it up in a tree. It, uh, where I'm going is the Bob Marshall and there are grizzlies there uh, as well as lots of black bears and so I will hang my food every night. This is my breakfast and lunch and snack bags. Oh yeah, another bag. Oh, throw those out. Coffee, and I'm bringing instant coffee this time. I needed to save some room in my pack, so I'm not bringing my uh, coffee press that I usually bring along, but I can survive with instant coffee. Uh, and I've got a bunch of protein bars. I eat two of these every day for lunch. That's my lunch, two protein bars. Um, whether it's Go Macros, these are my, the ones I prefer, or Kind. 
I've got some of um, just chewy granola bars and chewy with protein somewhere in here for some snacks. I've got some hot chocolate mix and Welch's fruit snacks. Normally I'll pack some sesame snacks and uh, Ritz crackers and cheese. This time around, I don't have any of that. Here's my breakfast. So this is kind of my signature breakfast. I mix chia seeds with some dried fruit and some nuts and I mix boiling water in it in the morning. Um, and about three teaspoons is all I need. Three tip, no, sorry. About three tablespoons of this mixture is all I need mixed with water for a complete breakfast. It for three tablespoons, well, two tablespoons is 150 calories of just chia seeds. You mix in the nuts and the fruits, you've got a good breakfast for the day. And this seems to stick with me, uh, so this is what I work with. And some noon tablets, some electrolytes. So the rest of my food, these are for dinners and I'm hoping to catch some fish. So I've packed a little light, but I won't starve for sure. Um, and here we've got mashed potatoes and some miso soup. And this little bottle here is full of uh, garlic infused olive oil. So when I catch fish, I can dice them up and put them in my pan. Mm, I can't wait. I have some nor rice and pastas so it's in this bag. And I have some trail mix, just homemade trail mix, a pound of that, and tuna. tuna and chicken packages, and I've got one for each day of those. Lots of food, and especially if I'm catching fish. So here's my flies. Oh, there's a few more. I uh, just put in a couple um, rice noodle packages in here, so these will be, they'll double as a flavoring for the fish, or they can be just a hot meal if I want one in the evening. I hear the temperature is going to be in the 90s when I'm in there, so I probably won't want hot meals, um, but if I want a bowl of soup, I can have one. So my flies, oh, my fly rod. It's going to attach somewhere um, on the outside of my pack. Here's my sleeping bag, which isn't a bag. It's an Enlightened Equipment Enigma quilt. Combine it with my Nemo Tensor sleeping pad, which is insulated to keep me warmer. My water filter. I only bring the bare necessities, what I need. What I use is a Gravity uh, Works from Platypus but I only bring the dirty bag because the clean bag, um, I just filter the water from the stream into the water bottles and that is adequate for me. So I bring my water bottle attachment, my dirty water bag, the, the cording, and I probably could uh, eliminate some of this pipe um, and my filter, of course. I've got first A kit. So it's got my toothbrush, um, some foot glide, some cake tape and scissors, and some tea tree essential oil, and then some afterbite in case I'm bombarded by mosquitoes. And there's also tent repair tape in there. And my teepee. I'm hoping this will be enough for the two weeks, and I probably could take out yeah, I'm gonna take this out, take out the inner, inner uh, cardboard to save some weight. So that's gone. I've got string, I've got line for um, doing some laundry and also hanging my hammock. And it's on the fence whether I'm gonna bring my hammock or not. It's a hammock, roof, single. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room, but I might need to leave it back depending on what I feel like. I'm going to just hike around here for a little bit and uh, decide later if I'm going to bring it. But I know it fits in my pack. And here's the tent poles right here. Got my Bob Marshall map. 
my fishing license and my battery packs and my charging cord for my phone. And the only GPS uh, that I'm going to bring is my phone. I've got the GPS and I'll, uh, I'll take photos and videos sparingly. Um, I'll take hopefully just enough to give you a real good idea of what it's like to be out there for two weeks in the wilderness. It is a remote location, so you are going to love to see the footage, but I've got these battery packs to keep me charged and safe. These will be my camp shoes. I'm taking these instead of flip-flops because I'm also going to use these for fly fishing. So I'm crossing the rivers and streams. I'm standing in the middle of the river. I'm using shoes. I don't want to go in there barefoot and I don't want to get my boots all wet all the time. So I'm going to use these. And uh, this is the first time I've brought my sneakers along. They're nice, light, new balance trainers and I hope they work for me. This will be my day pack. It's just a really light bag that I got in Belize. I got my raincoat here. I just stuffed everything in here. You see this. So my raincoat. I've got a long sleeve shirt. I've got a pair of socks and another one for sleeping in. I'll be wearing one. I've got some long johns. I'll be wearing shorts and probably a tank top. And I've got my toque and my mitts. Have I forgotten anything? Oh yes, yes, this one. <laughs> so, I've got my hat, I'll be wearing this. My hiking boots, they're just keen. Um, they're actually a men's keen because they fit me nicer. And, I've got my bear spray. This is a little fanny pack that I'm going to have my phone in around my waist. My bear spray is right here, so it's always handy. And whenever I'm hiking, that's where it is. Oh, I missed anything. Let me check. That's everything. That's everything that I'm bringing for two weeks in the wilderness, and I will be out of touch. There's no cell service. There is nothing out there in the Bob Marshall. It is in the middle of northwestern Montana. There's a lot of acres out there that are untouched, pristine conservation land, basically, undeveloped. I'm going to let, oh my pack is so light. I'm not bringing my bear bell. Um, I'm not bringing my towel. I may not bring my hammock. I'm not bringing this jacket because I have my rain jacket and the other shirt. I am not bringing any makeup, toiletries, uh, soap. I will pack along a knife. That's what I will bring. Yes, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope this inspires you to get out there. I hope it gives you a good idea of some of the things to bring along. Um, and whether you're on a two day hike or a two week trek, you know, the things that you pack are very similar. It's just you up the amount of food and um, that food is heavy. I'll put what my pack weighed before and what it weighs after up here so you have an idea of uh, what I'm wearing going in versus what I'm wearing going out after the two weeks. And until next time, happy trekking.